So as an Etsy seller, there are multiple things you can sell on your Etsy store in regards to print on demand products. But when it comes down to seasonal items, a lot of people spend all of their time creating these type of products. However, when the season is over, they really don't have any sales to help them be consistent throughout the rest of the year. And so in today's video, we're going to take a look at seasonal items as well as evergreen items and which ones you should really focus on in regards to what type of products you should create in your Etsy shop. We're going to cover all these things coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you are new here, my name is Jay and on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. So one of the questions we are definitely going to tackle today is what type of products you need to have in your Etsy shop? Which one is best in regards to seasonal items and evergreen items? And what is the best thing you need to do to actually get consistent sales in your Etsy shop? Now, if you are new to selling print on demand products, the number one print provider I use is Printify. Printify is a great place for you to sell all type of print on demand products, everything from hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, tote bags, canvases. You can sell mugs, bottles, and tumblers, and they have all of these things for you to create your print on demand products. And what is so cool about this is that they give you different variations of these products for you to really customize what different type of products you sell for your customer. What's so great about using Printify is that you actually have an option of what print provider you go with. You can choose them based upon the quality of the t-shirts, the shipping time, the price of the shirt, as well as their average production time. Again, this gives you the option to actually choose what type of print provider you use and what type of quality of product you can provide for your customer. Printify makes it so easy for you to upload your design and lay them on your product. They have all different type of color options with t-shirts and hoodies, and they make it so easy for you to actually get these things printed on your products and shipped out to your customer. Now you can actually get started with Printify for free, but I use the premium version because this allows me to get a discount for every product I sell in my store. Now, if you are new to selling print on demand products, I will encourage you to get started with Printify. They make it so easy for you to sell multiple print on demand products and start making passive income online with Etsy. I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below if you want to check this out on your own. So you might be thinking, what are evergreen products? So when I talk about evergreen products, I'm talking about products that have a strong and predictable sale record throughout the entire year. That means the products are always in demand. And so that means you don't have to wait for a certain season to come around or a special occasion. These are the type of products in Etsy that's going to sell all year round. So what are seasonal products? Seasonal products are products that are primarily sold during special times of the year, such as holidays. And these items are met with high demand due to shoppers gifting these items or maybe bringing awareness or celebrating people or special occasions. So we're talking about a huge amount of traffic volume coming because of a special occasion or a certain holiday or bringing awareness to a certain thing. Again, you can make a lot of sales based upon season type items. So some example of seasonal items would be Christmas shirts, Mother Day shirts, Father Day shirts, Easter or Resurrection Sunday shirts, Independence Day if you're living in the US, and Valentine's Day. So those are those holidays that most people purchase these t-shirts for. But seasonal items could also be based upon different occasions or some type of awareness, like back to school t-shirt, breast cancer awareness, or even graduation on those special occasions. Again, you can make a lot of sales because there are so many people coming to the Etsy marketplace to find items based around these seasonal products. Now there's a third category and that is trending products. Now you can gain a lot of sales if you follow trending items. But what I like to think about this is you have to be careful about following trending items when you're trying to figure out what type of products you need to have in your store. Because the fact is that sometimes things that are trending can also be things that are copyrighted and trademarked. And so the question might be, should I sell trending items? Should I not sell trending items? Well, the best place you can go is to check and make sure there is no trademark for that product. And the easy thing to do is just check up on the USPTO website to see if that item item or that phrase is a trademark design or a trademark item. Now, either be evergreen products or seasonal products, the overall thing you want to make sure that you do before you even create these type of products is make sure you are checking demand consistently. 
So because these demands are changing all the time, you want to make sure that you are catching the trend or catching the season before the peak of the season. And an easy way to check this is to go to Google Trends. So if you look at my screen, I'm sharing with you two different t-shirt topics in Google Trends. The blue is a fish shirt and the red is a Christmas shirt. So if you look at the bottom here, it's showing you two different graphs, right? It's showing you the graph for the Christmas shirt, but in comparison, it is showing you the graph for the blue shirt. All this is showing us is, is the product at the peak of the season or is this steady over the course of the year as an evergreen product? So what I did here is that I searched up this to be five years because I want to see the overall record of how this product has done over the course of five years. And if you look at the red here, the Christmas shirt, we have these peaks, we have these mountains, and we also have these valleys. Again, this lets us know that this is a seasonal item. Again, we see the highest number here is the amount of people that searching this up on Google search. And again, we see the same type of thing being found on Etsy is that it has a peak of the season. And we see with Christmas shirts, the peak of the season is December 5th. So that means I want to make sure that if I am creating seasonal items or seasonal products, I want to make sure that I'm creating these products before the trend hits, not after the trend is over or not after the season is over, but before the season comes. The main thing you want to focus on is, is this a seasonal item? If so, Am I creating products before the season or if I'm creating products after the season? And you also want to identify, is this an evergreen product? Again, fishing shirt is in demand. Of course, not as much as Christmas shirts. But again, when I see Christmas shirts are not at demand, what will carry my store over is these evergreen products in the valley of the season. So you might be asking what product sell best. And there's two things I want to bring to you. Number one, you want to focus on major seasons to leverage the traffic volume. There is going to be a ton of people coming for the Christmas season, as well as Mother's Day, as well as Father's Day. Again, people flock to Etsy in regards to the season. However, you want to make sure you are creating these products so you can leverage the search volume, leverage that traffic volume so you can get people to your products. But with that being said, you also have to make sure you are creating evergreen products so that your store can be sustained in the low valley of the season. You want to make sure you're creating evergreen products to carry your store and your sales when there is not a peak in the season. So what sells best? Here is what I want you to think about. Evergreen products can sustain your store and seasonal products can elevate your store, right? Seasonal products can bring your store up to high amount volume in regards to sales. But again, once that season is over, those evergreen products is what's going to sustain your store throughout time. And this can take a major effect if you are starting your store off new. So again, if you're starting your store off new, and I encourage you, if you're you know on the fence of selling print on demand products, I would encourage you, this is the perfect time to get started now because we're coming into one of the major seasons like Christmas in regards to Etsy, where you are able to get elevated sales because there's so many people buying things. However, if you try to start after the Christmas, Christmas season, yeah, you can still make sales, but they might come in a little slow as opposed to you selling now before the Christmas season start. And here's the overall tip about Christmas sales or seasonal items or holiday sales is that your evergreen products that you create, like your fish shirt, your teacher shirts, your coffee t-shirts or your coffee mugs or whatever it is, your evergreen products can get a boost during major seasons. So again, focus on the gap between the major season and launch your evergreen products. So again, when Christmas is over or when New Year's is over, when Mother's Day is over, what are you creating in the gaps of the season? I always want you to create evergreen products in the gaps of the season so that when we come around like the holiday season, you are able to get an elevated sale because of these overall evergreen products in your store. So as you can see, having the combination of evergreen products as well as seasonal items is the best thing you should do for your shop to help you get those sales year round. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to cover how to actually find these best selling products with evergreen niches as well as with seasonal items. But if you want to learn my exact strategy of how to find these best selling products, you need to start recreating in your Etsy shop, then check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, then make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.